Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about, in probably under six or seven minutes, a little bit more about factors and levels and categorical variables and how they differ from strings. A string is a string. You know, you have a string of characters. It doesn't really mean a whole lot to you except for its characters. That's the data type. And so we're going to talk about something called factors. A factor is more like a category or a type. Let me give you some examples first before we dive right in. Like, for example, if there's only four options, up, down, left, and right, no other option exists, you would call that a factor. Or a uh, compass, north, south, east, west, factor. Uh, cylinders, maybe, even though this is a number, it can only be a four, six, or eight cylinder car. So it's not really a number, it's a factor, it's a type of engine, right? Uh, things like that. So if you have, say, like a drop-down list or something like that in Excel, it would kind of convert over to a factor. Now, if you could put a character string in there, that's a different story. It's an unlimited amount of different uh, types it could be. That's a different story. We're talking about factors. Specifically, they are limited in what their options can be, right? So let's dive right in with some examples, and I'm going to show you how it's good. <music> and how it's, uh, it causes you less pain in the long run. Let's start with some examples though. Nothing beats an example. So let's do, um, uh, our, let's do our data is equal to, and let's start with uh, a column vector of, of uh, female or male, right? So female, male, and we're creating this data frame from scratch. Male, and I'm making this completely up, and you can do the same, but, the key is we create that. So we have our our data, OD. And actually, let's not call that OD. Let's call that gender right off the bat. Gender, and then let's just add age and call that uh, random numbers. I'm just going to write some numbers here and put some commas in. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. We're just gonna have to, have to make it a square matrix here, or a square data frame. So run that, and let's go ahead and put in weight if we want. This is this is like a classic example of how to demonstrate factors. So another weight: two hundred thirty-three, one hundred twenty-nine. That's probably not a good weight. <laughs> Maybe the five-year-old or the four-year-old three. No idea. Let's try this. All right, so we have some data. That's all that matters. And they all have the equal amount of length. Now, if you haven't, if you want to find the length of them, you could do the length. I want to show you a couple things as we go. Alien GTA. Gender. Length of six, right? So that's how you would figure it out if, if you didn't, if you had an arbitrary number and you wanted to programmatically do it. All right, so let's create a data frame out of this. Remember how to create a data frame? Let's call it our data now. I'm going to override OD over there. Our data is equal to, and we're going to create data.frame with gender, age, and weight. In fact, we're not just going to do that. We're going to call it ooh, <laughs> gender equals gender. I, I have a really bad naming convention going on, so I think this will work. <laughs> Command enter on that. All right, so it looks like it worked. Let's go ahead and click on it just to show you OD. It says gender, age, and weight. You see why my naming convention is kind of bad because it really shouldn't be the same on both sides. Um, so I'm naming this particular feature gender I'm going to name it gender, but I'm also going to assign it to the uh, vector called gender. So a little confusing, but I think you guys get the point on that. All right. So while we're here, let's do is factor is dot factor. Let's find out is OD um, gender a in fact factor. It says true, right? Let's see if age is a factor. The answer is going to be false. So it automatically knows it's a factor because I built it and it just assumes it's a factor. When you're importing data from like CSV files or Excel, the internet, typically it's not going to go factor. It's going to say, this is a character string. 
So we, we need to do something about that. We need to convert that character string to a factor. Let me give you an example because this is actually really important. Um, let's go ahead and change it from a factor to a character string. So let's go ahead and say um, the OD original data or the OD gender. Let's assign that to as character. OD gender. Command enter on that. All right. So now let's do, we can do class. I think class will work. OD. Oh, can't type today. Character. It says class character, right? Another, and also we could do is factor. Is that factor? All these various ways to get the same answer. False. It says false. So we do not want character strings. There's a very distinguished or distinct difference between them. Character strings will allow any other string to be added to it and appended to it. You can add uh, male, female, neutral, rhinosaurus, whatever you wanted to add because it's just a string. These aren't strings. These are types, types of gender classifications, male, female, right? So there's only a certain limited amount that we want to be able to choose from. So let's get to it and convert it back. How do we convert it back? Well, let's do OD gender, which is currently a character string, and just do the, the function factor and do OD gender. Okay, so it's going to automatically convert it back. And again, we can do uh, is dot factor on it. OD gender, and there we go. True, true, good. So we're we're on the right path here. We're on the right path. Let's print out the OD gender because I want to show you something. OD gender. You're going to see in the printout. It tells me something called levels. The levels. So you see the data. F, M, 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 F, F, and the levels are F and M, female and male. So it's very distinct. Uh, there's no other choices, female and male. If I tried to insert data that was not an F or an M, I would get an error. Let's try that. There's a couple ways to insert data. Um, there's no, I don't know if there's a more proper way. Most of the time you're gonna be importing from a CSV or an Excel, but once in a while you're gonna have to do your own data. Let's do it this way, uh, just to, uh, for time's sake. We're gonna say the OD in brackets. Now this is, might be new for some of you. I'm gonna say, how do I do that, how do I do it? Ah, the number of rows that are in OD. So take the number of rows, add one row, comma. Now I want all the columns, so I'm gonna leave that blank. I could spell them out explicitly say one through three or whatever, but since I leave it blank, it's fine. I'm gonna assign this new row because that's what it is. It's a it's a new row because I added the, the one. I'm gonna say the new row is a, a vector that's containing, we want a gender, I'm gonna say male, and then I'm gonna add the age and the weight. This should work, okay? So we have OD, I got male 23, 234, let's check it out. Male 23, 234, it is right there, you can see it. Now, I'm gonna copy this, paste it here, and now we're gonna add in a new gender called neutral, capital N, we'll give it a capital N. You'll see that I get a warning message. It says invalid factor level, NA generated. So now let's look at our, our, uh, our data. You see on level eight, I have a gender that's not acceptable, it is not, it wasn't part of, so that's what's so powerful about this is it actually validates your data as you're going, right? But now, you know, let's say that we wanted um, to create a new level. We wanted a level called neutral. So let's go ahead and add that in there. You have to add that in explicitly. So you're programmatically doing it. This helps you prevent errors. It helps you validate data throughout. It helps keeps your code clean and your data curated and nice and clean. All right, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna do the original data, right? And we're gonna set that equal to uh, the factor, factor. And we're gonna bring in the original data, but now we're going to say some. We're going to put something in there called levels equals, and that'll be a another vector. We're going to say, hey, we want 
our levels for, ooh, actually, excuse me, we want the OD gender to be factor with OD gender. With levels, we want a level called male, a level called female, and we're gonna add a level called N. Now, command enter. Now, the data is already there for the NA, so we're not gonna go ahead and change that NA, but we're gonna add the same thing here with the N, and I'll show you that we've in fact, now, because it's the number of rows plus one, we're good, because it's gonna count the new number of rows. So now we have the letter N in here. So that's pretty cool. We've, we've created a new factor level, and of course, if we printed that, print OD gender, we're gonna get all of our levels. Male, female, and capital N. So that's it, that's pretty good. Um, then there's ways to order them. You can order them simply by changing the order. So you see that right here on line 21, my order was male, female, N. I could have easily changed the order and the order does not matter in this particular case because it's not gonna change the order of my rows or of my data or anything like that. This is gonna matter when you're plotting, when you're making bar graphs and histograms and whatever. So the order will matter later, but for now, those are the techniques I wanted to show you, um, especially add in a row of data in this particular fashion. There's multiple ways to do that, but uh, the main takeaway is validate your data. If you don't want any other factor to be available or any other level for that factor to be available, don't let it be available. Let, let the NAs happen or error proof it and say, you know, it can't be an NA, things like that. So anyways, see you next time. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it really helped. Uh, feel free to share this video on social media. That'll help my channel grow, motivate me to press forward and make more videos like this. Feel free to reference this video anywhere on the internet and thank you for watching and see you on the next one.